Hey everyone, and we're back. My name is Miss Scarlet Tenager, and I am playing Commander, some Mass Effect 2. Message at your private terminal. That's nice. Uh, Samara's down here. We need to go talk to Samara. Because, um... Yeah. Yeah, Samara just killed her daughter. That's probably something she needs to talk about. I'm guessing. Because that kind of is a sucky, kind of crappy thing to do. There we go. Port observation deck. Is this the right one? No, that's Kasumi. Hi, Kasumi. Bye, Kasumi. Samara's over here. Hi, Samara. Morinth haunted my dreams and waking hours equally. For the first time in 400 years, I am free. I am a ruined vessel of sorrow and regret. But I am free. Honey! I had a feeling I can describe. Was it worth it? It was never a question of worth, but of need. She needed I to die. I had to take the action I did, as did she. This was never a story that would have a happy outcome. Nope. You did your duty. What about your feelings? One of my daughters is dead. My hopes, my dreams were all bound up in my children. Still, my feelings have always come after my duty. The same is true. Uh, the same is true of who? I mean, I didn't hear anything. Did you guys hear anything? You said that Morinth was a monster, but she was still your daughter. She was the strongest and smartest. She would not accept the injustice thrust upon her. She fought to the end. I am so proud of her, Shepard. Killed her for being what she was. And I would again. Mm -hmm. But I also know what it means to leave everything behind and fight. Which is exactly what she did going after she her. She went on the run at the age of 40. I do not know human years well, but it is very young for a sorry. What now? What do you do now that Morinth is gone? Assuming I survive your mission? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I am a Justicar. Injustice still exists. And perhaps even other Ardat Yakshi. Besides the ones that are you? There's your no children? Way to correct the condition Morinth had? We are an advanced species, but we don't have magic. When the trait manifests at maturity, it is too late for mitigation. It only occurs in purebloods like myself. Perhaps that is the root of the stigma regarding Asari exclusive pairings. I don't know. Aha! Uh -huh. I thought Ardat Yakshi were extremely rare. Asari have spread to many worlds. There are remote regions with no government oversight. If I travel to those worlds and they do exist, I will find them. Morinth claimed that her condition was the future of the Asari race. Morinth would say anything that served her cause. Ardat Yakshi are sterile, Shepard. Oh. It wouldn't be a particularly viable future for my people. Not really, no. You don't want to settle down? I did. I returned to my homeworld and tried to start a family. And then they all turned out to be Ardat Yakshi. I will fight and struggle all my life. That is my fate. When I die, it will not be in bed. I am at peace with that. You still control the direction of your life. I have chosen this path. I truly am at peace. Due in no small part to you. You're welcome. Do you want to talk more? Hi, Samara. I actually quite like you as a character. You're pretty cool. Shepard. Samara. How are you? Perhaps we could speak later. I wish to meditate. Okay. I should go. Of course. Bye, honey. Okay, now who do we have left? We have to feed my fish. We have Jacob, Miranda. I'm actually looking at my poster of all the characters except the two DLC characters. Jack, Miranda, and... No, not Jack. Uh, Jacob. Jacob, Miranda, and Zaid. So that's three. Then we have... One deal, no, two DLCs technically to complete, but one of them is very, very short. Feed my fish. These fish will survive the whole game. I will make it happen. So, out of Miranda, Jacob, and Zaid. Let's go do Zaid's. No. Should I do Zaid's mission? Because you can very easily lose his loyalty during that mission.
Let's go do Zaid's mission. I had to think about that really, really hard for a minute. Like, wait a minute, should I or shouldn't I? Hmm. Let's do it. Oh, wait a minute. We have upgrades to do. Never mind. We'll go do Zaid's mission in a bit. In a bit, in a bit, in a bit, bit, bit. I think I can give myself some good powers now. Assault rifle damage. Nothing there. Nothing there. Advanced training. Let's see here. I've already got barrier. <laughs> Fortification. Reeve. This is synthetic systems to prevent healing, restores health, and gives a temporary boost. Wow. It's used against organic, but it also does double damage. Okay, neural shock. Shredder ammo, flashbang stasis. Let's get Reeve. Why not? I can now do Reeve! Yay, Reeve! No messages for you, Commander. But didn't you say I had a message? She's lying to me. Oh, wrong button. Oh, okay, then I guess I'm Pragia. If, if you want to know that he had orders subject to theirs, probably sit down before the riot broke out. The worst personnel arrived to find the guards all dead, along with the rest of the subject. Any surviving children were treated for injuries, given amnesiac treatments, and delivered to Alliance facilities as survivors of slavery attacks. A few surviving doctors were forcibly retired for their role in the project. Per your report, the facility on Pragia has been destroyed. Okay. Sure. The elusive man knew nothing about it. Leave orbit. Okay. Where? I, I could go help Tolly. Hmm. I'm looking at my time. Let's go help Tolly. I can do that now. I've got enough Paragon that I don't have to worry about it. <laughs> and she is, you know, my sister. My sister from another species, Mister. Oh, I should go get 100% on those places, but later! The Migrant Fleet! Let's dock. Nothing bad's gonna happen. <laughs> Nothing at all! Except everything. Everything bad is going to happen. Since you make Mass Effect 2 could have dire ramifications in Mass Effect 3. Good to know. The decisions you make in Mass Effect 1 could have dire consequences for Mass Effect 3. <laughs> That's what I like about this series. She's black now. Let's go. Everybody wears their loyalty missions. I kind of can't believe I forgot about Polly. I guess I automatically assumed I'd already done her mission. Why do I have 12 points? Oh, right, because I got Reeve. That's why. Reeve, Reeve, Reeve! Reeve, 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 Reeve. Um, the Dory's life increasing. Reeve's strength, duration. Multiple targets. Heavy Reeve. Let's get some more Shockwave. Why not? Let's have a throw. Oh, it's been a little while since I've used Tolly. Have some AI hacking, Tolly. <sighs> I'm sorry, we haven't used you in a while because I've been taking Garrus instead of you on the loyalty missions. She is my favorite. Well, one of them. Naraya. 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 Our system has your ship flag to Cerberus. Verify. After time adrift among open stars, along tides of light and through shoals of dust, I will return to where I began. Permission granted. Welcome home, Talizora. No we problem! We security and quarantine team to meet us. Our ship is not clean. Understood. Approach exterior docking cradle. Our ship is not clean. Hi guys! Hi Brosephs. Is that Cal Rieger? Wait, no it's not. Oh, is that Cal Rieger? Captain Shepard. Tell oh, me no, it's not. Never mind. About you. I wish we could be meeting under more pleasant circumstances. I've never actually reached the rank of captain. Technically, I'm no longer in the Alliance military at all. You're the commander of the Normandy. Responsible for the lives aboard it. That entitles you to respect among our people. Okay. May you stand between your crew and Harm as you lead them through the empty quarters of the stars. Keep us alive. 
It's an old ship. So I have to keep. Shepherd. So I have to keep my helmet on because of reasons. <laughs> it's an old ship captain's blessing. Oh, okay. Tally helped the Normandy's crew out of many difficult situations. I'm here to return the favor. I understand. As the commander of the vessel she serves on, your voice carries weight. Cool. I wish I could do more to help Tally. The trial requires that I be officially neutral, but I'm here if you need to talk. They're charging you with bringing active Geth into the fleet as part of a secret project. What? Seriously? That's insane. I never brought active Geth aboard. I only sent parts and pieces. You sent Geth materials back to the migrant fleet? Yes, my father was working on the project. He needed the materials. If I sent oh, active no. was only damaged, not permanently inactive, no. No, no, I checked everything. I was careful. Technically, I'm under orders to place Tali Zora under arrest pending the hearing. Hey! So, Tali, you're confined to this ship until this trial is over. Thank you, Captain. Preparations got underway as soon as you arrived. The hearing's being held in the Garden Plaza. Good luck. Great! <laughs> this is going to end swimmingly! No, it's not. No, it's not! How bad is it? speak with Admiral Ra. She's waiting for- I can't believe they're charging Tali Zora. If Tali Zora can't even get a Cordian captain to stand for her, she's- Hey! Screw your face! I am better! I can do this! Corian or not? Hi there. Tali Zorobas Normandy. I am glad you came. I could delay them only so long. Vas Normandy? Auntie Ron. Shepherd Vas Normandy, this is Admiral Shepherd Vas Vas Normandy? Bay. She's a friend of my father's. Wait, Ron, you called me Vas Normandy. I am afraid I did, Tali. The Admiralty Board moved to have you tried under that name, given your departure from the Nima. Ah, you're an I Admiral. see. Does that mean you're one of the judges? I'm afraid not. My history with Tali and her father forced me to recuse myself. I imagine father had to do the same. You'll see inside, Tali. For my part, I moderate and ensure that the rules of protocol are followed. But I have no vote in the judgment. Aha. Uh -huh. I take it being associated with a human ship is a bad sign. They stripped me of my ship name. That's as good as declaring me exiled already. It's not over yet, Tali. You have friends who still know you as Tali Zora Vasnima. Whatever we must call you legally. I guess we should get legally? started. Legally? <laughs> does Tali have a defense counselor? Someone who speaks for her side. Indeed she does, Captain Shepard. She is part of your crew now. Son of a bitch. By law. <laughs> I'm her defense counselor. An accused is always represented by his or her ship's captain. Sorry. So, uh, you would actually speak for my defense? This is a terrible idea. I'm honored. I'll do everything in my I love power you, Tali. Tali. Thank you, Shepard. Love you, Tali. I could not ask for a better counselor. Our legal rules are simple. There are no legal tricks or political loopholes for you to worry about. Cool! Present the truth as best you can. It will have to be enough. Now come. I promise that I would not delay you. Oh boy. This is gonna be bad. Is that Kel Rieger? I think that's Kel Rieger. Woohoo, Kel Rieger! Welp. Hi there. Uh, hi. Hello. This conclave is brought to order. Blessed are the ancestors who kept us alive, sustained us, and enabled us to reach this season. Kill us alive. Kill us alive. The accused Talia Zora of us Normandy has come with her captain to defend herself against Capitan. the charge of treason. Objection! A human has no business at a hearing involving such sensitive military matters. Screw you! Talia is my and sister from another species, Mister. Talia crew of the Normandy, Admiral Chorus. By right, as Talia's captain, Shepard must stay. Ta! Owned. Objection withdrawn. <laughs> Shepard Vas Normandy, your crew member Tali Zora stands accused of treason. Will you speak for her? Yes, I will. It 
It is my pleasure. If it helps Tali, I will. But in her heart, she remains Tali Zora Vas Nima, a proud member of the Migrant Fleet. I regret that her captain is forbidden to stand at her side today. Nobody has been forbidden from anything. No. It is a simple... Lie to them if you must, Zalcoris, but don't lie to me and expect me to stay silent. The human is right. Oh. Adios, please. Shepard's willingness to represent Tali Zora in this hearing is appreciated. Tali, you're accused of bringing active guests to the migrant fleet. What say you? She's innocent. Tally would never endanger the migrant fleet. She pleads not guilty. I left parts and technology for teams to pick up. My father ordered me to do so. But I would never send active guests to the fleet. Everything I sent was disabled and harmless. Then explain how Geth seized the lab ship where your father was working. Why did they tell me about this? What are you talking about? What happened? As far as we can tell, Tally, the Geth have killed everyone on the Alarai. Your father included. Uh oh. What? Oh, Kila. We need to help! I appreciate the need for this trial, Admirals. But right now, our first concern must be the safety of the migrant fleet. The Normandy stands ready to assist in whatever capacity necessary. Thank you. Quarian strike teams have attempted to retake the ship. Well, maybe so I should go. I can use my powers as the protagonist! Take back the, the safest course would be to simply destroy the ship. But if you are looking for an honorable death... Oh, shut your so face, Chorus! I'm looking for my father, you boshed it! You intend to retake the Alarai from the Geth? This proposal is extremely dangerous. With Don't care, doing it anyway. Yes. The good of the fleet must come first. And Tally needs to find her father. Agreed. And if you die on this worthy mission, Tally, we will see that your name is clear to these charges. Thanks! We can discuss that later. Then it is decided. You will attempt to retake the Alarai. You are hereby given leave to depart the Raya. A shuttle will be waiting at the secondary docking hangar. Be safe, Tally. This hearing will resume upon your return, or upon determination that you have been killed in action. Dude, this isn't even a question. I'm the protagonist. We're gonna take back the Alarai. Let's do it! Thank you for agreeing to take back the Alarai, Shepard. The Admiral sounds sure that my father is already dead, but... I don't know. We won't know anything until we get there. Are you okay, honey buns? How are you holding up? They just threw a lot of fire at you, even before telling you about your father. I knew this would be bad, but I guess you're never really prepared to be charged with treason. No, not really! And my father, I... I don't know. He... he could still be alive. They don't know for certain that he's dead. I just don't know, Shepard. And I need to find out. Is there anyone here you want to talk to before we go? We can talk with the Admirals. It might help us to see what their viewpoints are. But I doubt we'll change anyone's mind by talking to them privately. We can talk to Cal Rieger! Right. The sooner we get to the Alarai, the sooner we'll know what happened. Shepard, the secondary docking hangar is through the Conclave chamber where you are now. The shuttle they have provided. Loyalty okay. to the fleet. Rieger! Call Rieger. Shepard, Telizora. Good to see you both. Wish you were under better circumstances. <laughs> Why is he the only one who had an accent? Yeah, those things, just like they said. No way the sun on Haystrom should have been acting that way. So that dark energy theory is right. That's troubling. Can't really comment on that, ma'am. I just shoot things. I just shoot what things. What are you doing aboard the Raya? It sounds like you gave your report to the Admiralty already. Well, uh... I stayed to argue the charges against Telly Zora. I've served with her and she deserves better than what she's getting. Damn straight she does. Just stating facts, ma'am. Have you had any luck talking to the Admiralty board? Admiral Ron asked my opinion about the Geth since I'd fought on Haystrom. She and Admiral Garrel are hoping you'll kill a bunch of Geth to get the crowd on your side. Then find evidence to clear your name. Uh -huh. Aha! Well, you didn't have many other options, ma'am. I recommended getting you onto the Alarai. I hope you can handle it. You we can do right that. Thing. Thank you. We can do you that. Don't worry about it. Something to do with dark energy. Right. Remember the damn sun on Haystrom. Yep. 
Shorted out everything. Way too much radiation. The sun's getting old. Only it's not. Dark energy. It's reducing the mass of the star's interior. Techs are worried. Did the Geth do it? Do you think the Geth are responsible for what's happening to Haystrom's son? Keela, I hope not. If they can screw up a star, our chances in war are even worse than I thought. I don't think this is the Geth. It would take massive time and resources to affect a star like this deliberately. I don't think they ever explained this. Be a weapon, and even the Geth wouldn't destroy a useful star system. Besides, they didn't show up until we did. <laughs> yeah, hope you're right, ma'am. Synthetic bastards are bad enough as it is. What does that dark energy buildup mean? Is it something we should worry about? Sorry, Shepard, I don't know what it means. Just that it has a scientist worried. Hopefully it's isolated. Some rare phenomenon. If dark energy can destabilize solar material. Sure. Probably not something to worry about now. But the resources in this galaxy are scarce enough without stars suddenly going dead. Some days I think flying around in the fleet without a planet of our own is the right idea. Yeah. Are you okay? How have you been, Rieger? You took kind of a beating on Haystrom. Just a little Physical bit. Physical damage wasn't bad. I was down for about a week with infection, though. Figure I got off easy. I don't have to face those admirals. You got a point there. With your immune systems, it couldn't be easy for Quarians to fight a war. You'd lose more people to infection than injury. We can't afford a frontline attack, that's for sure. Have to fight smart. Ideally from orbit. Ideally with you lasers. Have stockpiles of antibiotics. It's not as though everyone would die from a single shot. No, Shepard's right. You've only seen our strike ops tally. Don't have all the fancy equipment in a frontline fight. Supplies get strained. Things get ugly fast. Okay. Going. Let's go. Good luck on the Alarai. Stay safe out there. I'll try. Hi, Zen. Tali Zora, given the circumstances, are you certain that speaking to me is appropriate? I'm looking for Shit information about the Alarai. I don't intend to bribe you in the middle of the plaza, Admiral. Pleasure to meet you, Commander Shepard. We owe you a debt of gratitude for your actions against the Geth. Yo, Tali too! Tali's with me. Saren and the Geth would have destroyed us all without her Literally! <laughs> your political machinations are transparent, Commander. They are also unnecessary. If you and your father were actually experimenting on active Geth subjects, then you are simply idiots. No reason to waste resources on a trial. Ah! If not, then this was a tragic accident in the pursuit of a higher cause. Again, no trial is needed to determine that. Can you tell me anything this about This girl's the kind of a bitch. Listen, we detected several communication signatures before the Geth jammed the comm systems. Okay. Given the likely networked intelligence requirements for taking over a ship, expect between 10 and 50 units. That's a long range! Mm, this can't have anything to do with me. I only sent parts and pieces, and certainly not enough to make that many Geth. Sounds like yeah. your ideas about synthetics are in the minority. Yes, at least on the Admiralty board, Han Geralt sees an enemy that must be crushed. Salchorus would run away and hide on some new colony world. Shalaran is still undecided. I had thought Rail to be firmly in Han's camp, but if his experiments were on active Geth, Perhaps we have ideas in common. How does this change things? If we don't find Rail alive on the Alarai, what do you think will happen? The power balance will be disrupted. Han loses a vote for his foolish and self-destructive war. That would favor peace then, as Shala Ran is too careful to risk her own neck. Oh ha ha! But if the Admiral replacing Rail agrees with me, things could become very exciting. And we're going to make sure it's told. Rail should have felt no more guilt experimenting on Geth than I did while performing surgery on a childhood toy. The fact that you performed surgery on your childhood toys explains a great deal, Admiral. <laughs> a ship travels faster than I can. With the right programming, it can choose locations, even defend itself when attacked. But it is just a machine. It was built for the sole purpose of serving its master, and it can be dismantled whenever its master desires. I do not agree with that, at least in the terms of the Geth. If you're not interested in this trial, why not recuse yourself? And let that aging warship Han Geral and the cowardly Zal Chorus be the ones to chart this course? I think not. The broader purpose underlying the trial is to Everybody's important. accents are different! Tizora is only peripherally related. No offense intended. Zen is obviously is British. Of this trial, Admiral? To determine whether Quarians should fear their past mistakes or reclaim their glory using our natural affinity for artificial intelligence. 
So the only reason you care about this is because Rail might have learned something valuable from the Geth. Which she probably Indeed. did. If he has, then even in this accident we may find something worthwhile. You want to create new AIs? No, Tali Zora. I wish to return the Geth to the control of their rightful masters, the Quarian race. You're a jerk face. I don't like you. You're insane. Yes, you are. Thank you for the information. Zen. It was a pleasure Not to meet you, Commander. Yeah, sure. Let's 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 leave. Vitor! Shepard? How did you get onto the Raya? Shepard is here to help me with my trial. Yeah, I were you not watching? That. I hope you didn't really do what they said you did. No, Vitor. Not really, I no. Would never endanger the fleet. Oh, well, good. So can I help you with anything? I mean, probably not, but you helped me. Oh honey. Tally could use some friends right now. Would you be willing to tell the admirals how she helped you? No, I mean yes, but I already did. They came to see me. I didn't want to talk in a crowd. It's Vitor okay, Vitor. Ready, but he isn't ready for a public speech just yet. Aha. Uh -huh. Talk to them. So did that All the post-traumatic stress. We both told them about how you helped us. I hope it helped. I'm sure it did, Vitor. Thank you. I hope you feel better. Take care of yourself, Vitor. Not many could have gone through what you did and come out sane. <laughs> I know. I didn't. Uh -uh, I know I didn't. Commander. He's it's insane. Only because of your help that I've come this far. Come out saying, I know, I didn't. Aw, yay! I got... I got yays. Hi, Ron. You set me up, Shala. You told Captain Donna not to say anything? I don't hear that my father may be dead until I'm in the trial? Why? The Admiral uh, angry. to hear the shock in your voice, Tali. Otherwise, they might not have let you try to retake the Allery. That is your best chance at recovering evidence that can exonerate you. I am sorry. We cannot afford sensitivity, Tali. Are her chances really that bad? Are the judges that set on finding her guilty? Anything involving the Geth is a live wire, Shepard. Of course it is. There is still hope. And girls greatly respects both you and Tali Zora for stopping Saren. I got respect! Sees the whole thing is a war crime and wants to convict. I have no idea what Admiral Zen wants. We already talked to her. get to the Alarai soon. Is there anything else I can tell you? Um... Your relationship. How have you known Tally's family? Since before Riel was an Admiral. 25 or 30 years, I'd guess. I was there when Tally was born. Her mother and I had synced up our suits so we could be in the same open air room. Aww. I was sick for a week. But it was worth it. I was the she was sick for a week. From her mother and put her in the bubble. She cried so hard. Wait, the bubble? I don't understand. You put your put children, children in, in bubbles? bubbles? <laughs> Environmental units. It's a step between relying on the mother's immune system through nursing and getting a suit of one's own. The bubbles let parents take their children out of the clean room safely. We don't wear suits until adolescence. Aha! Uh -huh. There's a celebration when a child gets her first suit. Yeah, it's come out of the bubble! Coming of age. I'm not hearing much about Rail's involvement in Tally's life. It's difficult to explain. I shouldn't. It's all right, Hanshala. No secrets between shipmates. I think I told Shepard about my father. If you say so, Rio was committed to the Quarian cause. Aha! Uh -huh. That didn't. He wasn't the family the man. For his family. He wanted to give Tally and her mother the home world, or a strong fleet at least. That was how he showed his love. Aww. Let's go. Because it's about time to end this video. My name is Miss Scarlet Tanager, and we are playing some Mass Effect 2. I'll see you all in the next episode.